This is iPad integration. Uh, my name is Derek Brigett. I am a fourth grade teacher at Fort Wayne Community Schools. I thought today we would talk about the Wonders Reading Series online, specifically what the teacher sees maybe at their computer, and then we'll go and get into what the student sees from an iPad. Let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, I have now gone ahead and gone into the Connect ED. I just Googled Connect ED, and you'll see that I'll click on it pull up the screen you'll need to enter your username and password in order to get into this once you have logged in you'll see the the teacher page I'm sure some of you may be familiar with this teacher page and things that maybe you have um, allowed your students to listen to a story or whatnot on the um, speakers in your room but if not um, here are, is a, a very helpful resource or a helpful item to click on is the resources and it brings up a lot of things that you might be looking for maybe you you found that to be very helpful you have their their reading book is here you have the uh, writer's workshop book here that has the shorter stories and, and different things in it and then you've got the practice book reproducibles and then other assessments and weekly assessments and the also the selection tests and whatnot but what I'm going to show you now is a tip that I saw, um, I've noticed a few teachers, at least in my building, were interested in finding out how I was able to get my calendar synced up with the actual, um, the, the units that we're working on. So for example, right now we're on unit three, week one. On Monday when we come in, this will automatically change from unit three to week, week two. And they normally would say, you know, they have to manually select and figure out wherever they are depending on that. I wanted to show you real quick how I was able to sync this up. So let's get into that. First thing you'll need to do is go to the Manage and Assign tab. The next thing you'll need to do is go to Class Details. Once you click on Class Details, it's going to give you a list of your students and that's, and I take that back, if you have created a class or whatnot, it should give you this. Now, you may already have all of these things down here because you've had a class rolling and whatnot or and maybe your calendar is just off so this is what you'll need to do you'll need to go right here where it says create class once you go to create class and by the way it, you're not going to lose anything that you've already had so go to create class and I recommend you name it something different than the one you just saw so, so you can distinguish between the two I'm just going to type in your test and select your grade level and I wouldn't worry about the simplified login for the for your class. I mean, that's up to you. I think that it explains it over here. That just means they need an easy, uh, a real simple way for them to um, figure out their username and password. But I'm going to go to next. Here is the the biggest hang up with your calendar not matching up with what unit you're working on necessarily. Now, <clears throat> this day right here has to be the first teaching day that you started teaching now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you this they in at least in fourth grade I'm not sure how it is in other grades but they give us two weeks of something called start smart and that is where you don't have a story to read I mean basically you're previewing the book you're learning the procedures of how things might look in the book you're figuring different things out and how to start and there's lessons all for that well if you skip that and you get first week you just go ahead and start the kids reading one of their stories it throws the calendar off so there's a way to sort of get around that if you go back for example we started school on the Monday the 18th if there are two weeks of smart start smart then you'd have to back it up two weeks here so these two weeks would pass and then first story would start so I would select this day now that's again you're gonna sort of have to massage this and figure out what unit you're on at this time to figure out where you want the first teaching day. As soon as you set the first teaching day, it backs all of your things to a certain spot and then it continues to grow onto that day. And hopefully that sort of makes sense to you. But what you need to know is when you do click next and you'll see, you know, it, it, it has a lot of days as far as days off and whatnot. You can move lessons ahead. So for example, let's say that you're on unit one week three here and it runs a little long 
and you wanted to finish that up the next week, you can move that unit up to the next week, but I have found absolutely no way that I can back this up if, in case, let's say, I skip unit uh, our week two of unit one, and I just want to go ahead and replace it here. I found no way to do that. So just keep that in mind with how you back these these dates up. And again, if there's a way to do that, that's I I don't know. So let's go ahead and click save. And it's gonna it's gonna take you a minute. So we'll go ahead and wait just a second here. Okay, now that we have loaded that class in, I'm gonna give you two more things here. Uh, first thing is is you might wonder, well, how do I get student passwords? Well, if you don't have student passwords, there's a button right here that says print passwords. If you click on that, it's going to bring up an Excel spreadsheet and just print that off for your classroom and keep it in a file somewhere so you've got all the students' passwords. Second thing I'd like to show you is how to assign different things for the students that shows up in their to-do list for that week. So I'm going to click on resources. After I click on resources, I'm going to bring up all the things for this week, basically the things that they can work on are, and by the way, this does change as we go. These are different stories with, depending on what week you have selected. So I'm gonna go down and find down here in some of the different things they can work on. One of them is, let's see, a blank chart. Let's go to the video. So I'm gonna assign them in a video to watch about verbs. So I'm gonna click on the down arrow in this little settings button, the down arrow, and it says assign this resource. I'm looking for that. Once I assign that, uh, once I pull that up as to assign, I'm going to just give it a quick name. I'm going to say verb video, and this is what the kids will see as a title. Requires, there's a few things you can do. You can enter more detail about the assignment instructions if you want to. Well, I'm going to give it to the whole class. You have the option of selecting the approaching level, the on level, the beyond level. I'm just going to select all, check marks them all for me, and down here at the bottom I click assign. Once I click assign, hit done, and that's it. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you what it looks like in on an iPad from the student side. Now let's get into that. Um, every iPad on the student iPad should have a connect ed connected icon. So go ahead and click on that, and the students, after you've print off, printed off those, those student passwords, you just enter those in, into the box. Okay, now that you are into the iPad, this is basically, you can think of this as your main menu for the students. You'll see the five icons in fourth grade, I'm sure third grade and second grade and fifth grade, they look different, they don't have the same character there in the front, but nonetheless, you'll see the five tabs. You'll see when you press these, You'll see it says, this is the words to know. Well, it'll actually, okay, there you go. It'll speak to you, words to know. So you have all the vocabulary words. Now, I do want to, before I should back up here. Now, I want you to know the reason why I went through that calendar of, you know, setting up the correct unit with the correct week that you're working on, because this is where the big payoff comes on. Next week, when the students come back and they log into their, their iPad, they're going to automatically see the words of that week the words to know it'll already have without you having to go assign those words or whatnot it'll pop up which is the the best part of it all especially when you go you look over on the right side where the book is if you click on the book it brings up just the that week's stories only which is the greatest part of it all because you'll see everything that you're going to read that week is going to be right there now i want to show you kind of what what you actually see on the left you're going to see their leveled reader. Uh, next to that one you're going to see the selection story of the week and then uh, two um, stories down you're going to see where it says at the library you're going to see that was the writer's workshop book story and then the one the girl and the chinu is the story after the selection story. So it's and it's all there done for you immediately. You know, you don't have to go in and actually assign each individual if you have that calendar set up. That's where the biggest payoff comes from. Also, one one last thing that I want to make note of is you can I assign assign the students the video to watch. You'll see where it says it has a clipboard with a check mark and then a number one. It shows you right there and in their to do. And when you bring it up, it's going to see, you're going to see that verb video, 
if they click on verb video you're going to see now one other thing all they need to do because they're going to pull this up and they might ask you know well what do i do how do i get to this what they need to do is click on the video or the picture whatever you have assigned them you just click right here and then it brings up whatever their assignment is and then they go to it and then and then when they finish they can click down here at the bottom where it says submit you may have a procedure in place where you want them to type something in like i watched the video or i finished my assignment you know whatever you have them type in i mean you don't have to have them type anything you can just have them click submit but it's totally up to you as the teacher and then finally the last thing i really want to show you is just the resource tab you can get them the students in here and let them explore but the resource tab right here if you click on that it then takes them directly to all of their different sources of like for example their anthology their book their reading writing workshop book it's all right there there for for them to access and they can get these at home i mean they can if as long as they remember their username and password they have it written down someplace they can go and access this from home all right now i do realize i've given you a lot of information a lot of steps to follow but I, I do promise if you follow those steps and you get your your calendar synced up and it really makes it real slick for the kids because you don't have to go back in each week by week and set those calendar or set the vocabulary words set the reading story it all gets done for you in a seamless way and then the students just need to log in each week and each week that they use it and it just it's it really works well together now I will say that I use it daily for the students to get on and look at words and when they're doing like a vocabulary slideshow or whatnot so they can get on there pretty easily and once they get going and they understand the process of uh, logging in it's it really it's really a slick slick feature so I definitely recommend you using it so for uh, for the Wonders Reading Series iPad integrations Derek Brigette and we'll see you next time bye